No end to it all. Though all year I've muttered my pleas to the gods for a long groped for end. Wish it were over, this waiting, this watching. Twelve weary months, night in and night out. Crouching and peering, head down like a bloodhound. Paws propping muzzle, up here on the palace. The palace belonging the blood clan of Atreus. Agamemnon, Menelaus, blood kin, our clan chiefs. I've been so long staring, I know the stars backwards. The chiefs of the star clans, king stars, controllers, those that dispenses the cold snaps and dog days. I've had a whole year's worth, so I ought to know. A whole year of it. Still no sign of the signal I'm supposed to catch sight of. The beacons, the torch blaze that means Troy's finally taken. The woman says watch. So here I am. Watching. That woman's not one who's all worn and woeful. That woman's a man, the way she gets moving. Put down your pallias. Do you drench by daybreak? Not the soft bed you dream anything good in. Fear stays all night. Sleep gives me short time. Dare not drop off though. Might miss it, the beacon. And if I miss it, life's not worth the living. Sometimes, to stop nodding, I sing, or try singing. But songs stick in my gullet. I feel more like weeping when I think of the change that's come over this household. Good once, and well ordered. But all that seems over. Maybe tonight it'll finish, this watching, this waiting, an end to the torment we've yearned for. Ten years. Come on, blasty beacon, blaze out of the blackness. It's there! An oasis like daylight in deserts of dark. It's there, no mistaking. Agamemnon's woman. Best let her know the beacon's been sighted. Time all the women were wailing their welcome. Troy's taken! Troy's down and Troy's flattened! They'll be dancing in Argos and I'll lead the dance! My master struck lucky! So by, I reckon, sighting the beacons a dice throw, all sixes. Soon I'll be grasping his hand, Agamemnon's. Let him come home to us, whole and unharmed. As for the rest, I'm not saying. Better not said. Say that an ox ground me gob into silence. They'd tell such a story, these walls, if they could. Those who know what I know, know what I'm saying. Those who don't know, won't know. Not from me. Since clan chief Menelaus and his blood king Agamemnon. The twin yoke rule from clan chief Atreus. Double throne stone. Double chief stage. Pursued the war shoot against Priam. Launched the thousand ship armada off from Argos to smash Troy. Pray for shrilling, missed their child loss, wild frustration, nestlings snuffled, pray for soaring, wildly sculling, swirling airstreams, using raw bird wings like oars, for pangs, nothing, nest care, nothing, nothing, fostered nestlings, nothing, pray, mewing, pray 
Post commanded by twin birds, soldiers who leave these shores. First fateful west voice pops and birds, then make the inner city your moment when the iron fits between the jaws of Troy. Come under her kind care. Her father's hounds with silent winds swoop down on that scared beast. Artemis, she loves weed things and loathes the prey birds feast. Butter. Butter. Butter the doom drum. Doom drum. But believe. Believe. They'll be better. Better. Artemis, pure she god, stung with pity upon the hair, all mothers and their unborn young come under her kind care. Kind even to the lion pup. You're the one we cry to. You. Kind to wild beasts at the path. Stop bad signs coming true. Apollo! He got Hela! Yoshikin! Artemis! Intervene! Prevent her sending winds on the fleet from the wrong direction. Keeping the armada too long at anchor. Making a blood debt sacrifice certain. A sacrifice no one wants to eat meat from. A sacrifice no one wants to sing songs to. Wetting the grudge in the clan chief's household. Weakening the bond between woman and man lord. A grudge wanting blood for the spilling of child blood. A grudge brooding only on seizing its blood dues. These omens, both fair and foreboding. Calcas the Cancer saw in the bird sign. Batter. Batter. Batter the doom. Doom drum, but believe, believe they'll be better. So Agamemnon, first clan chief of Argos, found no fault in the clan seers foretelling and went where the winds of his life locked were listing. The Archaean Armada still anchored off Aulis. Wind force and wave swell keep the ship shorebound. Men sapped of spirit, supplies running short. Food pots and grain jars crapping their contents. Ship planks gape open. Frayed cables and rigging. Time dragging. Each day seeming two days. The flower of Argos be draggled and drooping. Calcas the clan seer. Soar into the storm cause. Artemis, she god, go get to god grudge. The clans and the clan chiefs clamor for sea calm. The gods up that gets it makes their guts sicken. Their cure for the storm last makes strong men braver. Clan chiefs of Argos drummed their staves on the earth and wept and wept and couldn't stop weeping. Then the first he child of Atreus, Agamemnon, choked back his crying and finally spoke. Hard Hard for a general not to obey. Hard, Hard for a father to kill his girl. Kill his own sea child, virgin blood. Father guilt, rhyming the codstone. Can I choose either without doing evil? Leave the fleet in the lurch. Shirker, deserter, let down the allies. We've all sworn allegiance. They're asking for blood. It's right what they're asking. A virgin's blood only. 
only will calm the wind's bluster. So be it then. Daughter, there's no other way. Necessity. He kneels to its neck into the yoke strap. The general, harnessed to what he can't change. And wants him to harness. His whole life blocked lurches towards the unspeakable horror. The crime! So men get gold! Get hoarded into evil! Recklessness starts it, then there's no stopping! So a father can take his own she-child! Take her and kill her! His she-child! His own flesh and blood! The war effort wants it, the war effort gets it! The war for one woman! The horror war! The horror war! A virgin blood launches the ships of Detroit! Has Philip beseeching? Right! Papa! Papa! A virgin! A virgin! What's a virgin? To hawks and to warlords. He says a god plea her father. Her father! Then orders attendants to hoist her up onto the god's stone. She bends herself double. Beseeching Papa Papa! Wraps her clothes round her, making it harder. Up, up she gets hoisted. Like a goat to the godstone. A gag in her mouth, her lovely mouth curved like a horse's. So that this blood clan's not blasted by curses. A garment stream groundwards, the loose flow of sapphire. Cloth dripping, cloth trailing. She darts some more glances and go through their hearts deep into the wounding. Painting sculpture that seems to be speaking. Seeking to say things but locked in its stone. They know what her eyes say. That's gang round the books, though. Often they see her at meals with her father. In the place beside his. When they sat at his table. The welcoming table of King Agamemnon. She sat beside him. His innocent she-child. Singing the lyre song after libations. The melodious grace thanks to Zeus. The preserver. What came next? Didn't see. So can't tell you. What Calcas foretold, all came to fulfillment. Suffering comes first, then after awareness. The futures? The future? You know when it's here. Foreseeing the futures to weep in advance. The present's enough. And what's going to happen? Let it be what we hoped for. Us. The poor remnant. So long the sole bulwark of Monarchus Argos. For it's right that we honor the wife of the clan chief when the man lord himself's not here on the throne stone. Is it good news and firm news? Or mere wishful thinking that makes you sacrifice now on the god stones? Like mother, like daughter, may last night's good news give birth this dawn light to a day like her mother. What I've got to tell you is beyond all you've hoped for. The Greek armies have taken the city of Priam! Taken Troy. Did my ears hear you right? Wasn't I clear? Troy was taken last night! My eyes fill with tears, tears of sheer joy! Then your eyes know it's true, a taking of Troy. Can you be certain with no news that's concrete? Yes, unless the whole thing is some he-god's deceit. Or some dream of Troy taken which seems to you true. I put trust in seeming, no more than you. Some rumour has reached you the walls as an end. I'm no simple child wit. Don't condescend. So Troy has been taken when, did you say? Last night. She who just gave birth. Did it end? The news came so fast over such a long way. Fire God, Hephaestus flashed out from Mount Ida. Flame after flame, bore the beacon's dispatches. 
Jaded flame to fresh flame, bearing the fire news. Either to crag Hermes on the island of Lemnos. From there its third stretch to the top of Mount Athos, the peak that Zeus favors. Then further upwards and upwards and over the ocean, dazzling, flaring, luring up fish holes to see what the flash is. A firetail comet transmitting its message to the watchtowers, scanning the sky on Machistos. They weren't caught napping. They flung the flame onwards, and it hurtled over Euripus, and watchmen marked it from their Mesapian outpost. They kindle heaped brushwood and speed the flame further. It gathers momentum. It doesn't diminish. It streaks like a meteor over Asopus and lands on Kithiron and sparks off the next one. Again, not neglected, so eager the watchmen, they get up a blaze that doubles the last one. From the Bogogogopis to Mount Egyptus, the bright chain of fire links remaining unbroken. They spare no effort and heap on the kindling. The flame hair streaming out over the headland that faces Gulf Ceylon, and then dropping southwards to the crag of Arachne that borders on Argos, then straight to the roof of the palace of Atreus, the flame that was fathered in Troy's conflagration. My torchbearers bearing the batons of blazes. That's the sign, the proof you've been wanting. All the way from Troy, from my man lord to me. The gods will get all our thanks for their bounty. But your tale's such a marvel, we'd like it repeated. We'd like all the details. You said first to hit by stuff. Troy's held by the Greeks is the truth. You're not grasping. Pour oil onto vinegar in the same full pot. They'll never blend in brotherly blood bond. So life lots in conflict cause cries the conflict. The Trojans all tearful, their arms round their fallen, embracing cold corpses, the widows, the orphans, knowing their own lives mean only bond chains, keen for their blood kin, their nearest, their dearest. The Greeks, their whole night spent in harsh skirmish, Famished for breakfast, swoop down onto Troy. No billets allotted, all discipline broken. Each man for himself, the luck of the straw lot. They bed themselves down in the houses they captured, free of the night frost, rough beds in the open. Sleep for once without sentries and wake up refreshed. So provided they don't give Troy's gods provocation and leave unmolested their sacrosanct seats as a chance that the victors will never be victims. I hope our platoons aren't driven by loot, lust, to bring what's tabooed back home here as booty. They still need some safety on the last lap back home. And even if the Greeks give grudge to no godheads, the dead that they've slaughtered can't sleep forever. Let disaster stop at the place it's reached so far. The cycle be broken and hope start to happen. Let a life lot that's lucky Get crowned with the laurels. You've heard all my feelings. Those of a woman. You feel like a woman, but talk like a man talks. Now I've heard all your proofs. Now I can offer the gratitude due to the gods who guard our gods. The joy we feel now seems worth all we've suffered. Zeus, the high he god, with night as his helper, cast a vast trammel over Troy's towers. Men get meshed in it. Women. Children. All dragged ashore and beached in harsh bondage. Zeus, cast it. Zeus, Zeus. protector of guest right. Zeus got the bullseye when he shot Paris. An arrow that took ten years to its target. The Zeus shot, they call it. No doubting it either. Zeus says it, it happens. His plans get accomplished. It was like that with Paris. Guest, stranger and welcome at the hospitable table of the blood clan of Atria. His gratitude Get thanks, grabbing of Helen. And what did Helen bequeath to her people? Spear clash and shield clang. The massive armada. The dowry she went with to Troy was destruction. A bad day for this house. A bad day for the master. Look at the victor. Rumpled with passion. 
Menelaus, apart, is brooding his love loss. Stunned into silence. A shadow, a ghost man. Statues mean nothing. Stones, eyeless and lifeless. His sleep's full of dream wives. Helen-shaped shadows that bring ease a moment then vanish away. He tries to grasp her. She slips through his fingers, shadowing off down the flyways of sleep. This is the anguish of the country's chief household. It doesn't stop there, though. Grief goes all over. Each house in Argos sends someone to battle. And gets back for menfolk. Jars full of cinders. A plectrum of sorrows. Plucks women's grief strings. Girl, sharp hair is god of war. Broker of men's bodies. Use your own. Guardian of Heralds to men down below and heroes, 
under whose gaze we were drafted, welcome us back, those few spared the spear thrust. House of our clan chief, homes of my blood kin, throne stones and god stones facing the sun's glare. If ever you once did, welcome your king back. Look on him with kind eyes after his absence, like a bright firebrand blazing through darkness to stop us all stumbling. King Agamemnon, welcome him warmly. He's earned your warm welcome. He swung a god axe, Zeus the Avengers, tore Troy's roots up, dug her earth over, her god shrine shattered, her altars all gutted, fruitful earth scorched into futureless dust bowls, an empire gone putrid and tossed on time's midden. Troy's next got his yoke on, your clan chiefs, first he child of Atreus, most lucky of life lot, worthier than any of the honours he's taken. I doubt Raper Paris thought it was worth it. The town he brought doom on won't boast of his bride snatch, branded for wife there. He lost what he plundered. His ancestral blood clan raised root and branch. Priam's sons pay for it an eye for an eye, or more like ten thousand eyes for each one. Welcome, Herald. Your home. The war's far behind. I kept alive for this. Now death I don't mind. Did you long for your home here, back at the war? What else do you think my weeping is for? You could say it was sweet in a way, your disease. Sweet? A disease? What riddles are these? That longing you had. We caught it here too. You long for us as we long for you. So much that our gloom made us groan with despair. What made you so gloomy? Our being out there? It's best for our safety if no more is said. With the clan chiefs away, what caused you this dread? Like you, we too wouldn't mind being dead. with good times and bad times. Suffering, suffering, only the gods escape it entirely. If you'd known firsthand our louse-ridden billets, cramped berths on board, claustrophobic, foul bedding, what didn't we have to complain of, you tell me. Ashore was no better, worse. We bivouacked under the walls with the enemy firing, drenched either by drizzle or dew from the ground, clothes moldy with mildew, Locks crawling with lice. First unbearable cold. Snow blowing off Ida. Blizzards killing bird flocks frozen in flight. Then heat. And even the ocean seems stifled. Slumped. Zephyrus in unruffled siestas. Slack billows lolling in the deadest of doldrums. But why go on? What's the point? The pain's over. And for the dead, so over and done with, they'll never lust after a life lot again. The dead are dead. Who wants a head count? Why should the living scratch open old scabs? We've left it behind us. Goodbye to all that. We are what's left. There's some good for the living. The pain and the losses don't quite overbalance. We can shout out to the universe proudly. The blood clans of Argos in battle alliance, having mashed into ashes Asia's town Troy, now nail up these god spoils to Hellas's he-gods. For all that, we'll get the credit and praises, and Zeus the gods will share. He made it happen. That's all. That's all there is for the telling. Your news shows me that I was mistaken. But you're never too old to learn a new lesson. Clytemnestra, she should be first to hear the whole story. The leftovers and scraps of it satisfy me. I started my triumph quite some time ago. When the first flame messenger arrived in the darkness proclaiming the capture and downfall of Troy. And what did the men say? Just like a woman. Bomb beacon, that's all. 
and she thinks Troy's been captured. But things like that made me feel stupid. I went off with the sacrifice in spite of their moaning. Then the whole city began behaving like women, raising the triumph cry, shouting and bawling, and feeding the thank fires almost to bursting. And why should you tell me anything further? I'll have the whole tale from the mouth of my manlord, and it's his welcome now that must be fully prepared. No day in the life of a woman is sweeter than that one. When she flings the door open to welcome her manlord, her manlord brought safely back from the war. Go, tell him come quickly. He's loved by his people. Tell him he'll find his wife faithful and bond true as when he first left her. And like a good bloodhound, his loyal servant and his enemy's foe. He'll find all his treasures still with his seal on. Tell him I've accepted no man's attentions. I'm no more a breaker of bed bond than as a woman I wield a man's weapon. All the words of the woman are clear enough. If those who are listening give all their ears. Harold, what about Menelaus, our other clan chief? You haven't said he's home safe as well. Falsehood is something fair lies never hide. The mask of glad messenger just wasn't mine. Skins can be fair and the fruit bad inside. Can't good news and truth ever share the same vine? Menelaus, he's missing that clan chief of yours. He's gone, his ship's gone, and this is all true. He set sail with you, though, when the force left Troy's shore. Did a sudden storm blow up and snatch him from view? Storm? Yes, you pit the bull's eye. Storm's a small word that encompasses hell. Is he still living, or did the chief die? Is there anyone there in the fleet who can tell? No one knows anything, at least not us men. Only the sun that looks down from the sky. How did the storm start? Why did it? When? Was it some god grudge and if a grudge, why? A god grudge. A god grudge. Don't drag in those she-gods. Some gods preside over pleasures, some pain. Those she-gods go with the most galling god grudge. This day's a homecoming, meant to be happy. When the clan messengers arrive shedding tears to announce to his blood clan what they've been dreading, the rout of their armies, a mountainous death toll, with anguish for all in the rolls of the fallen, the best lads in their tunnels tangled and landed and gashed by the flesh hook, the fish gap of Ares, gap flukes and grapnel barbs, gory with flesh bits. If he comes so overbalanced with trouble, then that's the time to start hymning the Furies. But if the news is good that he's bringing, and the city's wild with relief and success, who wants to be first to get the good curdled and blurt it all out? Shipwreck. Shrew grudge. The grudges of she gods shattered the Greek ships. Flame and salt water are scarcely a blood bond. This time they were, though. Elements merging, and their bond-proof, smashing our ships into splinters. Blackness, wave force, sea heaving and swelling, fierce thrashing gale squalls whistling from thrace, hurricanes blasting, rain lashing and pelting, ship prow smashing ship prow, horned beast goring beast, beasts with their horns locked butting each other. You know when a collie, not used to its charges, scatters the daft sheep every direction, colliding, collapsing, that kind of chaos? Well, that's how the waves were. Next morning, the Aegean had mushroomed with corpses and shipwreck. Our ship, though, amazing. Still whole and undamaged. Some god interceded, got our ship a pardon. Our helm had been guided by the hand of some he-god. Our ship was one that didn't get shattered. Couldn't believe it, escaping that wave grave. Couldn't believe our life lot so lucky. 
We were shocked in the clear light of morning, chewing the cud of the nightmare we'd lived through. Our ship throng had suffered a terrible thrashing. If any of the others survived, they'll be thinking we're finished, finished as we still do of them. May everything still turn out for the better. Menelaus, let's suppose that he's made it. Let's hope he's still somewhere under the sunlight. Zeus can't want the whole blood clan blasted. That's the truth you wanted. You've got it all now. <laughs> Zephyrs. And after her, war hosts bristling with metal. Trail hounds snapping the vanishing oar spore. Tracking the beach chips up leafy simois. Trail hounds scenting the sea tracks and blood slicks. Man grudge and god grudge ganging together, shepherded the blood bride surely to Troy. Delayed counter blow to the sullied table. The wrong one to Zeus, protector of guest rights. They paid the blood price. Bridegroom's blood kin chanting the bride hymn. He mean the bed bond. The new hymn they've learned in the city of Priam's not about bed bond, but a loud ball at death. Pauline Paris, the doom groom. The doom groom. War, war, Helen brought suffering. Slaughter, blood growth. Utility, child loss. And blood flow. Story, man and lion. This is it. Lion cup, brought in from the wild, still whimpering for the tit. Man treats it like a child. They dandle it, they fondle stroke, they sit it in their laps. Delight of children and old folk. Sits up and begs for scraps. Time passes and the man's cup grows. No more a wean to rock to sleep. Suddenly, its nature shows. Cup. Savages, your sheep. It's thank you for its bed and board, its gratitude for care. Your whole flock torn, clawed, gnawed. And blood flow everywhere. Blood everywhere, blood everywhere. The whole house smirched, defiled. Anguish, carnage, and despair. For fostering that child, that harmless orphaned furry beast, greeting for its nurse was nothing but a fury priest. A crutch sent slaughter. Curse! Helen to Troy. First, windless calm. Windless. A priceless treasure. Yielding with soft feel. Delicate eyelids. Rare orchid with heart form. Then abracadabra. The nuptials turn nasty. Jinx woman, Helen. Wormwood. Love gall. Bringing the children of Priam disaster. Spurred on by Zeus as protector of guest right, blood price, spoil spouse, and nubial fury. Wealth, pride, never dies childless, never, but always breeds children that go to the bad. That's half of the story. But what I say is this. Wealth coupled with hubris. That's the dark pedigree that sends its black seeds from infant to infant. When blood right gives birth, the children are bloodless. Hubris one, great hubris two. O oh, dark ancestral tree, old arrogance will soon bring you glory, genealogy. Well, pride is the furious sun 
Someone's wretched and people start sighing. The grief show stops a lot short of the heart. Someone's happy, they act the same hollowly. Glum visages forced into grins that are joyless. But a good judge of livestock knows his own cattle. Their eyes say one thing, he knows the other. Their cow eyes may water, he knows it's not love. I can hide nothing. Now I can tell you. When you first marshaled the armies for Helen, your image was evil. I thought you misguided to wage a long war for one lustful woman. So many cold grey birds for one gadding girl. Now though my heart's full, and I greet you. Your victory makes everything worth it. The omens I loathe then seem justified now. And while you were fighting, those who remained here, some have been faithful, and others... But you'll soon sort out the sheep men and goat men. First, I greet Argos and the gods of this blood clan. They gave me safe passage and helped me smash Priam. They stopped their ears to Troy's pleas and entreaties. They cast their boats and pitched all the pebbles into the blood pot. Nothing went into the pot for acquittal. Hope hovered round it, but hope's got no franchise. Troy, you can almost see it smoking from Argos. The rubble and debris still breathe out destruction. The ashes of surfeited Asia still sighing the sickly cashew breath of soft living and riches. The thanks are our gods for their bounties boundless. Remember them, everyone, now in our triumph. Now that we've got Troy caught in our sweet net, they raped one woman. We raised the whole city, ground it to powder, made mincemeat of Troy. The monster of Argos, the horse monster did it, chock full of shock troops clearing Troy's bulwarks just when the Pleiades were starting to wane. Leaping the battlements, the ravening lion glutted its bloodlust on Troy's royal children. What you said about praising and joy, I agree with. Not many can look on success without man grudge. Grudge gangrenes the gut, the sufferings twofold. One's own lack of luck, another's good life lot. I know what I'm saying. Knew only too well how men can dissemble, make friendship a sham. Most of my comrades were shadow men, shadows. Only Odysseus, first reluctant and cussed, once into harness, pulled his weight beside me. And whether he's dead or alive isn't certain. As for matters of blood clan, clan right and clan gods, we'll call the clan council to meet in full conclave. Emergencies needing immediate attention, drastic surgery, cauterize, cut out the canker. 
Now into the palace, my household hearthstone, to give the thanks due to all my great god kin. They sent me out, they brought me back safely. I've won this once, but I have to keep winning. gathered before us. I'm not ashamed to confess in your presence my love for my man lord. Time removes shyness. I don't need to hear stories. I suffered first hand. I suffered greatly with my man at the war front. For a woman to sit alone at home waiting with her man at the war is a terrible burden. There's no end to the rumours she has to keep hearing. News runners arriving in rapid succession, bawling the worsening news to the blood clan. If my man lord received the wounds rumour gave him, he'd gape open now like a sea fisher's grab net. I was driven distracted, rope round the rafters, neck in the noose, getting tighter, half throttled. That's why our child isn't here now in Argos. Our child, our bedbond's first blood shoot. Our he child, Orestes. No need for suspicion. He's in focus with Strophius, our ally and friend. Strophius warned me of possible troubles. The threat to your life in the perils of warfare. The likelihood here of popular rising. When people are down, they get trampled further. My words have no wiles and no guile to gull you. Now my eyes are pumped dry. No more tears to squeeze out. Eyes bleary with weeping and sleep as night vigils, hoping the beacons from you would get kindled. If I slept, if a mere gnat, wine would wake me. Loud as a bugle bray, wake me from dreaming. And what did I dream of? Your danger, your death wounds. Ten years of tight corners crammed into a catnap. All that I suffered, but no longer feel fettered. I'm free to say welcome, my lord, to your house. Welcome as the watchdog is in the sheepfold, main master of our vessel, chief central roof tree. Like an only child to its father, you're welcome. Welcome as land is to those on the ocean, welcome as dawn is after long night squalls, as a spring is to travelers thirsting for water. The release. Yanking necessities, yoke strap off. Now, my great man lord, come down from your war car. But don't let those feet that have trampled Troy under step on mere earth. Why are you waiting? Carry out my command for strewing the paved stone. Drag the dark dye flow right down from the doorway. Let blood right, true blood right, be the king's escort. No sleeping for me till the gods get their pleasure. The she gods of life lot, I'll be their she kin. The female enforcer of all they have fated. She child of Leda, my household's best bloodhound, your words, like my absence, lasted too long. Our praise singers spout out such peons for payment. We are a war hawk, no woman wanting such welcomes. Such prostration, such purple suit pashas from Persia. Don't come the Khan's courtiers, kowtow or cosset. Don't grovel, suck up, salam, and stop gawping. Such gaudy displays goad gods into god grudge. Give honours to humans more meant for mankind than such stuff even sky gods won't scorn to be swathed in. The mortal who blackens such silks with his boot soles best beware of bad trouble, best look to his light lot. My fame's managed so far without fancy foot mats. The greatest of god gifts is canniness, caution. Luck has to last the whole length of a lifetime. If happiness fails in the last lap, it's futile. Fortune can only be first, all after its failure. Good luck gets the champion's laurels or nothing. Runners up in the race are degrees of disaster. My stride strong and steady till disaster's left standing. Then stride strong and steady on what we have strewn. Now it smells baleful, no blessing or boon. He's great Agamemnon, God struck, afraid. No, 
but I stand by the statement I made. And potentate Priam, would he tread it or not? That Trojan satrap trades over the lot. Are you afraid of what the people might say? The voice of the people exerts its own sway. Mangrudge is proof that a man's reached great heights. And only he women go looking for fights. Give way from the grace of your great victory. Would that give you joy? That gesture from me? Let me win a little. Great man, Lord, agree. If it means so much. Here, help get these boots off. Campaign comrades, loyal old leathers. Keep God grudge off me as I tread on this sea red. I'll feel that I'm walking the women who wove it. Mounds of rich silver went into its making. So much for me. This stranger needs looking after. The gods like some kindness from those who are triumphed. Be kind. Nobody wants to end up in bondage. Pick of the booty, the Trojan spoil, loot pearl. This girl's the men's gift to grace their commander. Well, since I've yielded, I'll do what you ask me and tread on your red path into my palace. The sea is there forever. No one can drain it. And it oozes forever. The dyes of dark sea red. To stain all the garments this house has a wealth of. The gods have made sure that we've never been lacking. And if gods had prescribed it as a right for his safety, I would have trampled each inch of rich raiment. If the tree roots living, the house gets new leafage, spreading cool shade at the time of the dog star. Your returns like a rare smell of sunshine in winter. Like Zeus, when he ripens the sour grapes for the vintage. A master's presence then is the finishing stroke. Of Zeus, Zeus who brings all things to fulfillment. My fulfillment lies in serving your purpose. The song notes darken with prophecy. Certain these throne stones deserted. Nothing says go to my panic. Can't spit out the gobbets of nightmare. Sand silvered over the marks of the horses. Time's covered up the chain shape of anchors. Where the dog ships strained at their leashes for Troy. And they've returned. My own eyes can see them. And still I'm uneasy. Terrified. Why? Listen. The third song nobody's strumming. Listen. Listen, strings tuned to the terror that's coming. You too, Cassandra. Cassandra, come in. Zeus can't be angry, he wants you to join us. To share in this household ritual washing. Taking your place among all the slave girls at the godstone to one who keeps this house wealthy. 
come down from the wall car. Why be so haughty? If it has to happen, enslavement, they're lucky to fall to hereditary masters. The ones who suddenly come into a fortune, get rich by a windfall, they're brutal to slaves. We'll treat you kindly according to custom. Zeus is addressing Cassandra, no savvy. You're fast in the fate. Let the shackles of life lost. You can't scramble out. Best do as you're bidden. Sparrow brain. What does she jabber in, Baba gibberish? I'll try her again. Go inside. Go oh, inside. Go. It's best. And you haven't much choice. Do as you're bidden. Come down from the car. I don't have time to stand about waiting. The sacrifice. It's standing now at the Godstone. The victims prepared. My dreams reach fulfillment. If you want to partake in our worship, then come. Nothing gets through. Try it in dumb show. An interpreter's needed. Somebody clever. She's like a wild animal caught in a net. Maniac more like. Listening to voices, her father's whole city is caught in the net. She'll go champing her chops on the chain bit till her metal and madness froth off as blood. I'm not staying here to be sneered at by slave girls. Standing. Come down, poor woman, down from the war car. Necessity, neck into the yoke strap. Apollo, Apollo, Apollo. Then that art of the toy is all wrong. Apollo hates death notes and dark sorts of song. Apollo! Apollo! Again. Apollo hates the sort of note that comes strangled and anguished out of her throat. Apollo! Apollo! Wake up, destroyer! Again, your Cassandra's appalling destroyer. She's in a trance about to prophesy. Even in bondage, her gift doesn't die. Apollo! Apollo! Wake up, destroyer! Where have you brought me? What house is this? The house of Atreus. That much I know. It's a poor prophetess. Ask me questions, though. Shannon, kin, killers, child, charm, man, shambles, babes, back and abattoir. She's like a blood owl, nose to the ground, tracking the kill that's got to be found. I track down the witnesses, children, babes, shrieking, butcher, barbecue, child flesh, wolfed down by the father. Your prophetic powers, none of us doubt, for that kind of vision we can well do without. I see somebody evil, something, agony, agony, more, more, more. No one can bear it, no one can stop it. Helps far away over the ocean. Now I'm lost, but till now the tale was clear. We breathe that story in our atmosphere. Husband, beg me, body washed in your bathtub, hand over hand holding the cat in. Now it's got worse. I can make no sense of these dense riddles that grow more dense. Net! Hell net! She snare! Bed mate! Blood mate! The death pack howls over its victim! The pain swarms around it for stoning! Don't rouse the furies! Don't start them humming! You make me feel hopeless! Don't drag them in! The heart loses blood as cops boots dice And the sun oozes light and it's setting! Death moves in fast! I can feel this shadow! Look there! There! Look! Bull! Cow! Bull cow! Don't let them grapple! He's caught in the road net! She caught him and gores him, butting and butting with blood-crusted horn! Slumps into bath blood! Blood splash! I go to the oracles telling the future, but I recognize evil in what she keeps saying. Evils all men get out of oracles. The words spell out terror and smell of the truth. Him, me, him, me, him, me. Woke up, mind slots over the brim. What have you brought me here for? To die beside you. What else? This nightmare. This maelstrom. Where did it come from? Strange cries. Shrill shrieking. Where will they end? Paris. Blood rivals. Kindu. Scamander. Scamander. Cassandra. Scamander. I was a youngster on your riverside once. Grief streams of Acheron. I'll sing beside you. That's clear enough. A child could miss it. Your death. Songs pang me and pay me like snake fangs. Your anguish tears me in two just to listen. Troy Towers tottering, Troy Towers destroyed, sacrifice, sacrifice, feast after feast, all father's cattle utterly useless, the Troy of my father, ashes, all ash. I 
I'm on fire too. Come crashing to earth. What is it bringing these cries from your body? These pain pans and grief songs. Don't, Don't understand. understand. Off with the bright veil then. Look into truth's pupils. The truth gust is rising. Blowing fresh headwinds, sweeping sea ripples into dawn's molten cauldron. Then building a world wave as big as a mountain. Riddles are over. Keep close on my track now as I sent out the spore of ancient transgression. Listen. The rooftops, monotonous humming that drones on forever and means only terror. The blood boats of fiends swarm, holds its debauches, cacophonous squatters that can't be evicted. Chant over and over the crime where it started, cursing the bed bond of bloodkin defiled, trampling all over the flowing bed linen. Have I shot wide or am I on target? Swear I know all the curse of this blood clan. And if I did swear, what good would it do? What would it alter? But it's a wonder a stranger like you knows the truth of our story. It's as if you'd witnessed all you're describing. Apollo, the seer god, put this power in my head. A god and some lovesick he bribed you to bed. I've always thought it too shameful to tell. Shame's a luxury for when life goes well. He got me flat on my back. I felt his breath hot. And did the he got get what he wanted or not? I told him he could, then later said no. You'd already been given the god vision, though. I fought out Troy's downfall, the Trojans' defeat. And didn't Apollo make you pay for your cheat? Yes. No one ever believed me. Not one single word. But we have believed all we have heard. Truth fans, truth pain, tornado and maelstrom, doom fever, doom ague shakes my body again. Look on the rooftops, dream shadows, children killed by their blood in their hands full of... Ah! Offal and giblets, their very own innards held out to their father as succulent morsels. The lion plots vengeance, the lion that's gutless, the lion that lolls in my master's own chamber, waiting to welcome my homecoming master. Master, that's what as his slave I must call him. Commander of triremes, crusher of Priam, but blind to cabal. The insatiable hellbitch licking his hands, ears pricked in welcome, furry and curl like concealing a fury, red blooded, intrepid, the man slaying woman. What name of monsters best to describe her? Bloodsucker, basilisk, two headed shark hand, rock drops skulking for sailors to wreck them, hell damn, fire breathing war, war at her husband. Boundless in brazenness, hear her hosannas, like battle cries raised when the victory seems certain. But how well she dissembles that so widely welcome. Whether I'm believed or not doesn't matter. Whatever you do, the future will happen. Through pity and tears, you'll know the true prophet. Thyestes eating his children, that I got, yes. I thicken and tremble at truth so unfailing. The rest I can't fathom. I'm lost, I'm afraid. Agamemnon, he's the one you see dead. Shh. Such things shouldn't even be said. Even unspoken, this sore won't heal. It will if the he gods hear our appeal. And while you're appealing, his throat's being slit. I don't know the man who would dare to do it. If you say man, then you don't understand. I don't know the man, nor how it's been planned. I'm speaking your own tongue. Why can't you hear? Even in our tongue, no oracle's clear. In me, Apollo's two-legged lion is tucked by the wolfman. When the great lion's gone, she'll kill Cassandra. Brewing the witch vein, her bubbling grudge dropped into the cauldron. Death dose for Cassandra. She sharpens the sword blade to hack down her husband, a hacking he earned by bringing me with him. Why do I wear these garments that mock me? The trappings of prophetess, rob, garb, and raiment. I'm going to die, but you'll go before me. It's some satisfaction to trample these trappings. Go and bestow these gifts on another. 
Apollo, Apollo, clawing my clothes off. He grabs the prophetess garb off my body. He mocked me, Apollo, though dressed as his prophet. He wanted me scorned and derided by blood king, called vagabond, mountebank, gypsy, and starveling. The gods here cast his prophetess to disaster. My father's own priestess, now mere beast oblation. Lifeblood flowing hot off the hack block. We won't die forgotten. Gods always notice. He'll come, our avenger, our blood grudge fulfiller. He'll come, mother killer, wanderer, exile, setting the cold stone on this blood clan's corruption. The father's corpse drawing the son back to Argos. Why, these tears, these eyes saw Troy leveled, and those who destroyed her doomed also to die. Now it's for me to die, the doorway to death. I pray for a clean blow, no painful convulsions, my blood ebbing gently, closing my eyes. Such suffering, child, such pain in your wisdom. If you can foresee death, then why do you go to it so meekly? Like a god-destined goat to the godstone. escape now. No more delay. Well, there's life then. You know what they say. No hope for me though. It's pointless all flight. How bravely you seem to face up to your plight. Yes, only the doomed are ever called brave. But isn't it noble to face up to the grave? You mean like my father and brothers all died. What is it, Spear? Was that why you shied? What sickens your brain? The palace, it stinks like an abattoir drain. It's the sacrifice made for our clan chief's return. It stinks like the gas from a burial urn. It's only the incense the priests always burn. go inside, wailing our deaths. Mine, Agamemnon's, enough of life! Friends, I'm no frightened fledgling, flinching with fear when the bushes get shaken. From you what I beg, the bearing of witness, when woman for woman, my killer's killed also, and the man mated to doom gets killed for your clan chief. I beg this favour as a stranger going to die now. I pity you, so open-eyed about dying. A few last words, a requiem dirge song. I ask the son whose last rays I'm addressing, that when the Avengers cut down the assassins, one strokes for the slave girl butchered defenseless. Man's life. Lux blotted out by the slenderest shadow. Trouble. A wet sponge wipes the slate empty. That pains also nothing makes life a heartbreak. Human beings in their pride, restless and dissatisfied, no Bars his door to opulence and cries No more the gods let our great king destroy The topless towers of Priam's Troy Vanquish a conquistador Crowned with all the spoils of war Was it screaming in pain? I fear that though 
that screams mean our clan chief slain. Now we should take counsel, and every man should say what he thinks is the safest plan. In my opinion, we ought to bring the whole city here to help the king. And I say rush in, break down the door, catch them with swords still dripping with gore. I'm also for action. I'll second that. Any action at all is better than chat. It's quite clear. I mean, quite clear to me, their actions are prelude to tyranny. They don't discuss, they do. And while we prate, they stamp their boots on all debate. But I have to plan, and no one can go into action without a plan. Agreed. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. There's no way talk can make a dead man get up and walk. Just to save our skin, shall we stand by, let murderers rule us, our clan chiefs die? No, never! As for me, I'd sooner die than live two seconds under tyranny! But can we, from the cries we heard, infer that murder has occurred? We should act proof before we act. Guesswork's not the same as fact. I think the meeting as a whole is agreed. Conclusive evidence is what we need. many words to serve the moment, which I have no compunction now to contradict. How else but by lying and seeming so loving could I have plotted my enemy's downfall? How rig the net so it can't be left out of? This is the blood grudge, the grudge's fruition, something I've brooded on quite a long time. I've done what I meant to. I wouldn't deny it. Over his head I cast a vast trammel. The sword that hauls in whole shoals, at each casting, he couldn't get out of his rich, flowing doom robe. Twice I struck him, he screamed twice, then crumbled. Once he had fallen, I struck him a third blow. One struck for Zeus in his role as corpse keeper. He lay there gasping and splurting his blood out, spraying me with dark blood dew. Do you I delight in as much as the grain crop in the fresh gloss of rainfall when the wheat buds in labour and swells into birth pang. So that's how it is, old men of Argos. Cheer if you want to. I revel in glory. He's had his libation. Spurts from his blood vein. He poured woe and bitterness into our wine bowl. He's got the last goblet and laps up the lees. Your words revolt me. How can you trumpet so unlike a woman over your man, Lord? Still, you can treat me like a woman who's witless. My heart's made of steel. And as I have stated, whether you like it or not, there's Agamemnon. This is the sword hand that brought him to blood right. I hacked down my husband. That's how it is, woman. Some earth friends driving you crazy. To brave the damning voice of the people. You've sown and you'll reap punishment. Exile. Driven out of the country. Cursed at and spat at. Oh, now you're ready with banishment, exile, the people's hatred and public damnation. And how did you punish this murderer here? Meant as little to him as slaughtering cattle. His sheepfolds were bursting. He butchered his she-child, the she-child I laboured to launch on her life lot as some specious godsop to settle a storm squall. You should have banished him for pollution. But it's now that you start to play at stern judges. Banishment, if you can make me, if you enforce it, if I prove the stronger, I'll teach you some wisdom. You'll go back to school and learn some hard lessons. You're maddened by powerless raving. Your brains be weevled with blood deeds. Your eyes have red blood flecks for pupils. Your doom's to be honorless. Friendless. Defenseless. And stab wound for stab wound, you reap retribution. Then listen to this, the oath that I'll swear by. By blood right exacted on behalf of my she-child. 
by Iphigenia, whose blood grudge has roasted by the fury for whom Agamemnon's the booty, I swear I'll never let fear to my fireside as long as the heart's kept alight by Aegisthus, loyal friend always, my shield, my protector. Look at him. Shagamemnon, shameless, shaft-happy, ogler and grinder of Troy's golden girlhood. Look at her, spear prize, prophetess, princess, whore of his war tent, his bash back on shipboard. They've got their desserts. The two of them now, there he lies. She sung her swan song and lies, as she should do, stretched out alongside him. His dear's death, a side dish to the banquet of his. King Agamemnon, how can we mourn you? How give a voice to bereavement and love loss? There in the spider's web, spewing your life out. The impious weapon swung by the spouse. Fiend! Spouse? No. Wife? No. What swung the sword blades? The semblance, the shape of this corpse's spouse only. Willing the weapon was no wife and no woman, but his family's phantom. Atreus, the flesh chef, offering flayed these fully fledged victims, one for each butchered and barbecued babe. You guiltless. You guiltless. And who be your witness? Some god must have helped you fulfill the blood grudge. Black Ares, a moth wading deep in the blood fog. The blood grudge that calls him the cold joints of children. King Agamemnon. How can we mourn you? How give a voice to bereavement and love loss? There in the spider's web, spewing your life out, the impious weapon swung by the spouse clean. His death's no worse than the one he inflicted when he forged his own link in this house's doomed chain. He suffered the fakes, he made others suffer. If it's an eye, still wept for, sweet flower, his she child. Don't go boasting in Hades, steel slinger, sword brute. You got back your stab wounds, all you inflicted. My mind's of its moorings. Foundations are shaking. No longer a drizzle. A hammering bloodstorm. Fate strokes its blade for more and more blood bouts. Earth. 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 Why didn't you take me? Rather than let me live to see the king humble, sprawl out in his blood in a bathtub of silver. Who'll bury the body? Who'll sing the grave dirge? You wouldn't surely first kill our clan chief, then pour specious tributes over his tomb can? Who'll mourn him with real grief, and not a mask only? That's not your business. I hacked him down, and the sword hand strong enough to strike him. Get dig of a ditch! No mourning. From no one. All that's forbidden. Iphigenia, she'll greet him by the waters of sorrow, flinging her arms round her father to kiss him. Collar for collar, blood grudge for blood grudge. While Zeus, the high he god, is still the god's clan chief, the law for the living his killers get killed. Light in the bloodstream. Curse in the corpuscles. The feet of this clan bogged down in the blood quag. The future, the truth, you're beginning to see them. I'll make a bond with this palace's blood fiend. What's happened so far, I'll accept and fall in with. Hard though that is, I'll do it, provided. The fiend leaves this house and finds other quarters to ravage the people and goad them to murder. Riches mean nothing. A little suffices. If only this frenzy of kin killing ceases. Who see crimes and punish? 
I'm happy, so happy, to see this man tangled in robes of dark red. The furies have woven, fulfilling the blood grudge caused by his father. This man's father, Atreus, once king of Argos, there being some dispute as to who should be clan chief, drove my father, his brother Thyestes, away. Thyestes came back as a suppliant, begging, at least his life sparing, the minimum mercy, no son's blood, staining his father's own threshold. But this man's father, Atreus, Atreus the godless, whose mask of warm welcome kept hatred hidden, threw a great banquet as if for Thyestes and dished up his children as the daintiest tidbits. The fingers and toes he chopped off to disguise it. And my father, alone of the guests, got this child's stew. Not being aware what it was he was eating, he bolted the banquet that blasted this blood clan. When he knew what he chewed, he choked on the child's dew, shrieked, reeled backward, spewed out the offal, turned over the tables and cursed the whole blood clan, grinding the meat into mush with his boot heel. And that's why your clan chief is lying there murdered, and I wove the net we got him ensnared in. Third son of Thyestes, I plotted for blood right. Driven out with my father while only a baby, as a man I've returned, escorted by blood right. In exile I had all the threads, twisted, ready, biding my time for the trap to be fashioned. Now I die happy, happy now blood right's got Agamemnon caught fast in French trunk. He just revolting, revolting. You did it, clotted it, yeah. single handed. The people will stone you. You don't stand a chance. Pretty grand talk to come out of the galleys. We got the tiller. Get on with the rowing. Old as you are, you still can learn lessons, though you'll find wisdom. A tough course to take in. Prison. Starvation. They motivate scholars, make even daughters like you get good totals. Don't push on the horse goad. You'll get yourself hurt. Woman! Waiting at home for the menfolk. Wallowing in, befouling a warrior's bed bond. How could you bring down a great soldier? Winnie like that again and you'll rue it. The songs of Orpheus may have tamed creatures. Yours work on me in the other direction. A dose of the strong arm will soon get you docile. You, ruler! Not you, who let a mere woman murder the king when you hadn't courage. Deception! That was the work for the woman. I, with my blood grudge, was under suspicion. Agamemnon's gold will buy off his people, and those who won't be bought will be broken. No coats without collars. Hunger and darkness, they teach the mettlesome, quiet up manners. Couldn't kill the king with your own hand, could you? Let a woman get her clan and her clan gods corrupted. The gods of Argos. But I tell you, Orestes, if he's alive and luck guide his life lot, he'll kill this couple. Our blood grudge fulfiller! your first lessons already, I see. Comrade, you need to stand firm with me. Draw your swords out. Ready, stand by. Stand by? Not one of us here is afraid to die. I'm glad that you told me. So go ahead, die. No, no, my dear, no more bloodletting. There's been enough, enough. Old men of Argos, go home now quietly before you regret it. We did what we had to. Let it rest there. The fiend's hooves have galloped over our spirits. Let it rest there. Take advice from a woman. But they, they jibe at me, mock me. You're pushing your luck, you old foul mouths. I'm your new ruler. Don't you forget it! Argives don't grovel to your evil sort. The Argives like you will have to be taught. Not if Orestes comes back to his own. Exiles! He's home. All gristle and bone. No fat on injustice, shit on the state. I'm warning you, old fool. Before it's too late. Cock a doodle doo, the dung heat 
Lord, draw a bit louder, your hen will applaud. Let the terriers yap! All bark and no bite. You and I will rule this house and set it right.